but look at it from a label's point of view, okay? Yeah, yeah. You get a demo. The demo is an email. It's badly written with a smiley face. You love story about how you live somewhere where it rains. So if you're locked in a basement, first off, okay, you're crazy. I don't want to deal with you. So how Have you, you experienced these before, Rap? Absolutely. Oh, I got an email from someone. And it was like, hello, I live in a basement in Manchester. It rains a lot, which is why I make all this music. And, yeah, my brother did this and my mother commits suicide. And I was just like, look, I get it. You've had a tough life. But I don't need your neurosis because I'm, I'm trying to work with people mm. that aren't going to demand so much of my time totally. so I can give the time to the, the music that they've given there me, you go. not handling them and mm -hmm. wiping their bottoms, right? So, I mean, at the end of the day how you send a demo. Then it's like the first thing, if I get a demo and it's like, hey, I've got this private SoundCloud link, you know, love your label, love your mm. work since this record, because flattery will get you. <laughs> Come on. And, you know, but it also shows that you know a little bit about the label. I can't mm. tell you how many hip hop mm. people send me their records. Mm. Really? Yo, rap, like, check out my beats. I'm like, I don't think so. Firstly, I'm not a hip hop label. So, so know the label that you're sending the music yeah, out yeah. to. And then, so so let's just say you get the de the, the introductory email right, and you're you now sent me to a private link on your SoundCloud, and now I go to your SoundCloud. There's three tunes on there, not fifty, please. Mm -hmm. There's three tunes on there, and they're amazing. This is wow. like one hundred and one. What this to is, do? This is looking good, right? Yeah. So then you look up their social media. Not uh -oh. a dicky bird. Yeah. Okay. So now, what does that tell me? This person is great in the studio. They're great doing this, but they're not great at like promote. So that all falls on me. Now that's great if you've got the resources yeah. and you are a bigger label and that's yeah. good, but you need to work with people. There's an artist right now that I uh, am proud to say, I feel like, I don't want to say I've discovered him, but I kind of have. His name's Moisen. He's so, Moisen. he's phenomenal. I have him at every one of my residencies. We work on music together and he is such a talent, but he's not just a talent in the studio and he's not just one of the best DJs I've ever heard in my life because he absolutely is. But he works his social media, he works his camera work, he knows how to take footage, he does... And that's the kind of person... That's, the, that's exactly... That's who I will invest my time in. Got a head for in. different things, yeah. knows what he wants. He understands he's a brand. Mm. And so, you know, the thing is, that's the kind of artist that I'm just like, this person wants to work mm. and he wants it badly. Mm. And so, you know, that's what you look for, that fire. Mm. You look for a younger version of yourself, I guess. Yeah. You know, like, what would this... What is it, Is he prepared to work or does he just want to sit and roll a joint and make music? Because we all want to do that. I want to sit in the studio mm. and get bombed and do nothing but make music. Mm. Mm. But making music is the treat I allow myself mm. after all the other discipline stuff is out of the Survival's way. Survival's the real game. That's not the music. I get you. Well, music doesn't really even make you that much money. No. You know, it's all the other things that are tied within the tree mm -hmm. of music. <laughs>